Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you about how to renew your passport within 24 hours, even in the same day if you have to. Get a new passport if you've never gotten one within a few hours. It is possible, you need to do very, very specific steps. I'm going to teach them to you now. And I'm going to talk to you, the one time that I had to do it was the worst, most stressful day of my life. That was April 4th, 2018. I was living in Jamaica, I was in Montreal, and I lost my passport and I had to fly back to Jamaica the next morning at six in the morning. Let's talk about that. All right, so first of all, why would you need to do that? Could be anything. Could be a damaged passport like this one. I actually fell in the water with it, well, fell. I jumped in the water because a guy needed help and I actually jumped in the water to help. His boat was going away and I didn't really realize I had my passport in my pocket. Stupidly, I jump in, my cell phone's fine, but the passport didn't survive. Now, you could technically travel around the world with a damaged passport, but trust me, a lot of countries will not allow it. So if your passport's damaged, you have to replace it. Now, in my case, I was actually loading a container to ship it to Jamaica, loading my car and everything, and my duffel bag had my passport in it, and it was placed by the workers inside the container, and the doors were closed and everything, and by the time I realized that my bag wasn't with me, well, it was too late. Seals were in, the truck was driving away. There was no way I could get my passport back that way. It would have been too complicated, maybe impossible because we didn't know where it was. So I had to rush to get another one. Now, if you have your birth certificate, this is one good tool to have immediately. So I always carry my birth certificate with me. This time, it was in the duffel bag. How stupid. Okay, so get your birth certificate. First thing you'll need to do, you need an affidavit signed with the incident. What happened? I drop in the water, I damage my passport, I was at this specific location with this specific people, and then you need to get this notarized. Now in a lot of country, notarization is easy. In the Philippines, there is no public notary in almost every single corner. Uh, in Canada, in US, you'll be able to get one at almost every single bank. You just go to your bank, and you'll be able to get that, that's not hard. So now you have your birth certificate, hopefully you didn't have to go and get one done because I had, trust me, it's extremely difficult. You have to have all your information by heart, name of your grandparents, name of your parents, if they're alive or dead, if they're dead, when exactly, every date, everything, and it takes a long time. I was at one in the afternoon when I entered the place to get my birth certificate, and I got out of there at 4.20. At 4.30, running like I've never ran before, I entered a passport office. Now, in Canada, it's like this. In the United States, it's a bit different depending on the states. But in Canada, if you manage to get in one second before they're closing at 4.30, you're in. They have to serve you, even if you get out of there at 7.30 at night, which happened to me. So the entire office for three hours stayed open because of me. Okay, that was my first hurdle. So now you have your birth certificate, you have the affidavit confirming that you lost your passport. You need to have at least one piece of ID extra. You need to have a picture that you don't have a choice signed by somebody that knows you. That's your respondent. Normally, if you can have somebody that's a doctor, somebody that's a professional, somebody like an accountant or belong to a professional order like a nurse, it's 10 times better. You'll need to have three other contacts. What you'll need to do is to make 100% sure that these people can be contacted by phone that very day. If one of them is not available on the phone, they might just say, hmm, you're missing a contact, we're not giving it to you. This is major. Another point that's also major, you need to have the proof, justification, that you need absolutely to travel the next day, okay, or whatever, if, if it's the point, or 24 hours later. Now, in my case, I already have my plane ticket for the next day. And on top of that, the big, huge fear in my case was the fact that my wife had to fly the next day right after. So I land in the morning and in Jamaica at about nine and she had to fly at night. So my daughter would have been stuck in Jamaica alone. This was also entered in the affidavit, and that's what I explained to the authority in Canada. I said, look, I don't have a choice. And I had that proof as well. Now. If you have to have a visa to travel where you need to go, this is where you could have a problem. In my case, I had my diplomatic ID from Jamaica, which was in the duffel bag. So I had nothing and you need a um, tourist visa to go, but you can pick it up at the airport. So I explained that to the clerk, I explained that to the airline and I had a letter from the embassy in Jamaica because I knew the people there explaining that I lived in Jamaica and that I had lost my passport. But all these things need to be coordinated. 
Now, I waited for three hours while they did their things, verifying everything. The one thing with the picture also, you have to make sure that the guarantor that signs your picture has known you for more than two years. Now, as an expat, that becomes a problem. This is one of the issues. When I'm gonna make a video of all the problems you can have as an expat, trust me, that's one of them. Finding somebody that has known you for two years. Now, you could technically put your wife as a respondent if your wife is with you because she's known you for more than two years, but then that means you're gonna to have to find other people. So your wife apply, you guarantee, and then you have two other people. But in 24 hours, trust me, that's a job. So now, what do we have just to recap very quickly? Well, we have the birth certificate, the affidavit, the letter from the guarantor that signed, so that your full, full, full form signed by the guarantor. On top of that, the photo, so you have to go take a photo, signed by the guarantor as well. And then you have to enter before 4.30 or the closing time, if it's earlier or later in your jurisdiction, and you will have to pay the last minute fee. No choice. And I had requested a 36 page passport, but they told me, no, no, in an emergency, the max is 24. And I said, okay, fine, doesn't matter. I need to fly. That's at the end. And you need your plane ticket or proof that you absolutely need to fly that day. With all these, you will be able to fly. And why? On top of that, you know, when the world wants to fall on your head, there was ice rain that morning, so loading the container was an extreme job. And on top of that, my daughter got bitten by a dog that day. Um, another thing, if I want to add that, I could. In my case, that was the case. Your guarantor should come with you. Because, you know, if ever there is a form that's not signed properly or whatever, he can sign it right there on the spot. If they forget something or whatever, the guarantor is important. So if you have somebody that you could trust to go with you, bring him along, bring her along. It's important. And again, try to get somebody uh, in an order, doctor, nurse, accountant, lawyer, judge, something like that. That is paramount in order to be able to do it within 24 hours. That's it, the end. Guys, I hope that was useful. I know it doesn't work for every country around the world, but in Canada, US, Europe, it, it works. I've done it, I actually did it twice. One for myself and one from somebody else. So trust me, it works. But you have to have those and you need to be patient. And don't yell at the people, okay? These people are doing you a major favor here. And, you know, like, just try to be calm even though you're going to be nervous like hell because you need to fly. And especially if you have a death or something. Keep calm, be nice, and it should work. All right? Take care, guys. See you in the next video.